All right, you guys, we're going to be cleaning up this suede shoe properly. Uh, it, it really is in great shape, to be honest, and this might not be necessary, but we got a lot of yuckiness all throughout the soles. I will be cleaning that up and taking care of that. I'm not going to be too worried about the bottom of the shoe because I do wear uh, shoes often. I go out a lot. And, uh, but we're going to clean up the majority of it. If I did work for like a professional shoe repair uh, small business or something or you know some boutique uh, shoe repair shop, I'd do the whole thing properly. But we're going to avoid the bottom for the most part because I am not in my, uh, my laundry room where I have a sink. I'm in my bathroom uh, for a, other reasons. So what we're going to be using is a cup of water, two parts water, one part uh, of the Saphir suede shampoo. I have a specialty suede brush, which is what we're going to be using to clean up the majority of the shoe. And of course, I have standard, uh, you know, uh, shoe cleaning brushes here. We're going to use a little bit of Dr. Bronner's. And then once we're done cleaning at least the bottom of the shoes, we're going to hit the, uh, the, the soles here with a little bit of bow stall. So we're gonna keep the, uh, the the bottom of the shoe, the, the soles of the shoe hydrated. It's gonna look great. We're gonna reduce the likelihood that this is gonna crack. Of course, the, the shoe is holding up really well. Um, now you gotta be careful when applying bow stall. Uh, you don't wanna get that on the suede. So I'm gonna be uh, you know, hitting it, uh, putting or applying the bow stall right here on this microfiber uh, applicator pad. So let's go ahead and begin. Should be enough. You honestly don't need that much. I'm done with that guy here. Let's go ahead and mix this up. Oh man, this thing stinks. Do not like the way this this smells. Really work it in where the uh, problematic areas are. I'm gonna hit the whole thing. We're just gonna hit the whole thing, guys. Might as well. We're already here. Okay. So the entire shoe was hit with this uh, suede. With the suede shampoo. All that's left to do is really rinse it off, let this thing dry, and then we're gonna hit it once again with our fancy uh, suede brush. There's a little bit of hairs lingering from the shoe, but this looks fantastic. This looks really, really good. You know what, let's just hit just a little bit. Yeah, this is fantastic, guys. All right, yeah, so right here is where the uh, the problem area was, right where I'm pointing. And uh, yeah, so we hit the whole thing. So uh, all that's left to do is just to rinse this off. But we're going to go ahead and do the soles as well. And we're going to be a little careful, though, because we don't want to get any other part of the shoe uh, hit with the... Uh, So what I like to do with these soles, so right now we have the Dr. Bronner's on there. So now what I'm going to do is work the Dr. Bronner's all throughout the sole. And um, you're going to see just how dirty this thing is. It's got all this yuckiness coming off of it. It's pretty blatant. but the shoe is significantly looking better. All right, we're gonna keep hitting it.
go ahead and wipe this shoe down the bottom at least. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and rinse off the shoe. This isn't gonna hurt the shoe, guys. It's not gonna hurt the shoe at all. Now, just gonna pat and dry. All right, so now that the shoes are pat and dry, both of them, we're gonna stuff some of this, I guess, packing paper inside the shoe. You can use new newspapers if you'd like. I'm just using this because it's readily available. Honestly, don't need that much. There we go. All right, so now all that's left to do is to protect the soles of the shoes. I mean, these already look really good, guys. These look really, really good. We're gonna get some of this ballast stall here. I'm just putting it on the edge of this applicator pad. This stuff is safe to use on, on almost all soles for the most part. All right, what you don't wanna do is get this on, uh, you know, you don't wanna get this on suede. All I'm doing, just gently. It's an applicator pad. I'm just applying the ballastol. I'm gonna do this to both of these shoes. Very, very carefully. I don't want this stuff on the suede. This stuff will certainly go a long ways in protecting the soles of the shoes, keep them from cracking. That's basically it, guys. So uh, next cut, you're gonna see the shoe completely dry and we're gonna hit it with a brush, put the laces on, and we're gonna look at the results and you're gonna let me know what you think. All right, you guys. So these are the shoes without the laces on them. They are completely dry, they are completely clean, and they look fantastic despite getting them wet and rinsing them off. It's not dried out. It's not stiff or anything like that. This feels and looks like uh, the shoe that I purchased however many years ago. So uh, yeah, the, the last thing that I did just to get the uh, the, the surface to uh, look good is just, you know, hit it with the with the brush all around the Saphir suede brush, hit it all around. And uh, yeah, this feels really, really nice. Feels really, really nice. Both of these shoes. So right here is where that uh, that yuckiness, that, that asphalt, you know, the, the street marks were, were found on the shoes and they're gone. All it is gone. The soles of the shoes, they look fantastic. Of course, the bottom I didn't really do, but again, I wear these often when I go out and uh, it's one of my favorite shoes. So uh, yeah, they look new. So yeah, you just follow the instructions in the video and your suede high top sneakers or your suede shoes will be looking this good uh, you know, for, for a long time. You take care of your shoes, they'll take care of you. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.